Welcome back everyone. As you probably guessed from the thumbnail, we are going over the lights and gear that are in Olight's June flash sale. So there's some interesting ones, definitely that the channel viewers will probably like. And first and foremost is this guy right here. This is the Odin GL. So the Odin is their weapon uh, lights and the GL just stands for green laser. And basically this month it is going to be out in FDE and I believe one other color. And the lights do have a lot of features to them. Uh, so candela wise, this one's right around 12,000. And uh, obviously lumens is going to be on your screen here. And these lights are scout compatible. So uh, they work with any of your scout mounts. They also have their own mount that comes with it, which is a 1913 mount. And you can orient it in a couple different ways and uh, like this. And then it also has a locking feature. So that way you can't just slide it out where you turn this little piece here and it locks it and it's locked in place but again any of your scout mounts that you want to use with this you can just go ahead and do so basically it has a tail cap which is like a protected turbo type switch so basically one press will give you low and then high press will give you high a hard press rather will give you high if i could speak correctly and then it has our switch up front here which allows you to switch from light only light and laser and then laser only so you only have your green laser you can adjust the laser uh, versus or rather via your windage and elevation uh, screws right there then of course it is tail cap rechargeable like most of the lights are we got a plane going over i don't know if you guys can hear that and you just can use your o light uh, tail cap recharger to do so course the battery comes out it is threaded and o-ring sealed i have a torture test on the b channel here of one of these lights and they do pretty well at taking a beating but does have the olight standard uh 21 700 battery on there and like we said o-ring sealed so get it out in the rain i haven't had one of these fail on me yet and i've done some pretty extensive testing with them as you guys have probably already seen on the channel so there is that it also has a tape switch and if you guys watch the channel you know i don't like tape switches at all <laughs> they have improved their tape switch though one thing they do have on it is this locking ring i don't know if you guys can hear that but it does have the ability that if you push it forward you can't pull it off so it locks it in place i do like that that said under recoil on my 7.62 by 39 machine gun that you guys have seen uh, i've had that actually come loose on it uh, that said it's better than most honestly of the locking mechanism and then here on the actual pressure switch it's 1913 compatible you guys probably see that on the back and then the big button is for high and the small button is for low so that is your low amount let me turn it on light i still have it on laser so that is low as you guys can see there and then high um, so weapon lights these things are pretty darn proven at this point you guys can look around the internet and see that then one light that is brand new is the Olight Seeker 4. This light has impressive output, as you guys are about to see here, uh, for the size on this one. The Seeker series has been out for a while, but the Seeker 4 Mini here um, has a lot of cool features. Obviously, it's tail cap rechargeable as well, uh, USB rechargeable. And then it has a smaller battery on the inside, of course, O-ring sealed and uh, uh, lubricated threads on there. It's an 18 uh, 350 battery but it does have a little nub on there some 18 350s don't have a button top some do this one has that protected button top so not all will work with it but a lot will it also has a lanyard loop built into it, it has a two-way clip so if you wanted to put it on your hat you certainly can do so and use it hands-free and then uh, it does have our switch here on the side to turn it on. Green is going to indicate the color. And then it has a UV portion as well, which you can work through in the modes to get to. And obviously also has a strobe function. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. Work through high, low, medium, and then double click for turbo and then triple triple click for the strobe then this one here is actually not the color that's out this month but the javelot mini this is the light that came out when i was suspended from youtube so i never actually did the video on it but i want to show you guys uh, the output of it here again this month is a different color but this one is an impressive light for the size in terms of a candela monster again you guys can look at it here in my hand versus say like the odin you guys can see the odin much larger light in terms of length um, but this thing has crazy candela uh, for the size that you guys will see here in just a second 
And I should also mention, of course, if you guys are watching this video, the sale is going on. There is a link down below in the video description that is an affiliate link. If that bothers you for whatever reason, there's always going to be a link for mental health resources. I put them in all the OLight videos because people get big mad. Um, but then I should mention that with the sale, this is a free gift uh, that you get if you pick up anything over there, the i3 e OS, which is a keychain light, and basically you just turn it, I could actually do it there, turn it on, and that's how it goes on and off. Keychain light, much, much brighter than what you get with an iPhone, and that really is kind of what they're competing with. Then we have some tools that they have here. This is their little mini multi-tool that they have. Ugh, if I could actually get it open. It's hot out here, my hands are sweating. Um, so we have our pliers, knives, all of the other accoutrement that you could expect, um, saw, scissors, all of those sorts of things, but a very small little compact package, just like that. And then we also have the O-Pen Mini, which is an aluminum uh, configuration. Obviously writes just fine, but also could be used as a compact impact instrument if you wanted to use it in that role. And then we have a new knife for them, which is a flipper design there. If I could get it open, it has a side lock on there. The Olight knives are pretty darn good. There's actually only one Olight knife that I haven't liked the design of. And that was like a year and a half ago. We talked about it here on the channel. Um, but they make a good knife. It's got good ergonomics for it. Uh, and then, of course, the lock there. If you want to collapse it, you just push the lock in and you can close it. Uh, you can switch the actual um, pocket clip here to either side, depending on how you want to carry it. But that is the flipper design there on the knife. And with that, let's wait for it to get dark and check out the beam comparison. For the new folks here, the spot there where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 yards away. Trees in the background are gonna be anywhere from 40 to 50 yards away. And right now you guys are seeing the output from that i3T, the little keychain light that is the free gift this month. You guys can see compared to say an iPhone, it blows it out of the water. Very, very impressive for a small light, but let's move up to more powerful stuff. Here's the output from the Seeker 4 Mini on low. We'll work through the different modes there for you. Medium and high. As you guys can see, it is essentially a wall of light type design. Although the beam pattern is not quite like 180 degrees, it's probably about 150 degrees. As we move off camera and you can see it does have an edge to it, but also has a hot spot to it, as you guys can see there as well in the middle. And then if we double click, that will put us into turbo mode. Now, uh, obviously this looks like a lot of light because it is, but when you consider how small this light is, it's it just, I mean, it's very, very impressive in terms of the actual output on it for sure. And now we have the output from the Odin GL on low. You guys can get an idea there of the hot spot. And then as we move out, you can see the edge as we go across. I should also note that my camera is set on manual to as close as what I see here with my human eye. And we do have, we're one day away from a full moon as of right now, so we have some good natural gloom out here. And then if we push it over into high, that is the output. And you guys can see that candela, right around 12,000 candela does start to shine through, but it also has a wall of light with a pretty wide flood and spill to it. Now, of course, if we switch the modes over there you guys can see the green laser, which on camera never appears as bright as it is in real life. I don't know why that is, but it does. And then if we move it back and forth, the actual light is probably going to wash out the laser on most surfaces. I guess you can see it there on the tree still. Um, but again, with your human eye, it's very, very bright. The camera, for whatever reason, has a hard time picking that laser up when it's in the light. And here we have the output from the Javelot Mini on low. You can see a very tight hotspot. It has a decent amount of flood, but the flood is not all that bright. Um, but it does give you some situational awareness, especially for a very high candela light for this size. And that is, of course, on high. And you guys can see it definitely has a discernible edge there on the spill. I'm roughly 10 yards back here on my property. Across the lake here is 110 yards. And then Another 10 yards back is that little fishing shack there where the green light is, and this is the Odin on low. And then if we go ahead and go on high, you can see a dramatic difference in terms of actual brightness. And if we zoom in, it will illustrate that a little bit more. Let me just click that on. There you go, on high. And yeah, so if somebody was out there at that fishing shack, you would easily be able to identify them. You'd be able to probably tell what was in their hand. Uh, if it was really small, might not be able to distinguish if it was a gun 
or say like a cell phone, but you would know that there was something in their, in their hand. It definitely has enough horsepower for that. And then if we move on back, you guys can see the rosemary bush and the rose down there on the right. And that's kind of how it looks as we go across and come off camera. So it's good balanced beam pattern overall. To contrast that, there you guys can see uh, the Javelot Mini. So much, much higher candela. And you can see the spill there at distance really is kind of barely usable at all. But if we zoom in, you guys are going to see, you could see just about everything there. That's pretty close to what I see again with my human eye. Uh, with that light, it definitely is a candela monster again, considering the size of the light. Very, very impressive in that regard. Then we have the Seeker 4 Mini. This is on low. We'll bump it into turbo. And yeah, you can see again, very small light, not designed to be a throw monster, but it's still giving you pretty good awareness out there. Uh, if somebody was standing there, I'd be able to tell there was something there, but yet the flood pattern of it here, the spill, is really lighting up that rosemary bush here just 10 yards in front of me, off to the right of where the hot spot is on the light. I really do think this is gonna be a very popular light with this audience with the size. Now that you guys have seen the beam patterns of the lights, we'll end it there. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you guys haven't signed up for both my emails, the daily deals and the monthly email, I recommend you do that. That goes out for the videos on the main channel and then eight of the best deals that we find around the internet. Those go out every day, the daily deals do, and then the monthly email goes out monthly, as the name would indicate. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.